Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's video, I'm going to share 12 different kinds of projects you can create using the Christmas Time Is Here Suite by Stampin' Up. It just became available. I'm gonna show you five of the products that coordinate that I've particularly purchased, and there's also other things you can purchase. And then I'm gonna go through my 12 projects, and altogether I made 25 different items. But there's 12 styles of projects I'm going to show you. The projects I'm going to show you are great for craft fairs, gift giving this holiday season, stocking stuffers, okay, just to cards to send people, things to make people feel good, and just whatever you want to do with them. But I'm particularly getting ready for a craft fair, and that's why I made so many projects, and I'm going to be also gifting some of these. All right, so the, the designer series paper is beautifully foiled in gold. Okay, so this is a piece of it. It's roses and there's gold foiling. And on the back, it's just a nice mossy meadow. Okay, so the, the coordinating colors are mossy meadow, poppy parade, you get four sheets of that, by the way, uh, cherry cobbler, okay, mossy meadow, poppy parade, cherry cobbler, early espresso, that's the little bit of brown you see, and gold. Those are the colors. Okay, here's the next type of paper. You get four sheets of this beautifully gold foiled paper. It's called Specialty Designer Series Paper. And on the other side, you get that nice mossy meadow and there's little hearts. Or not, I'm not, I'm so, sorry, they're not hearts. There's little, the little berries made of poppy parade. Okay, so that's beautiful pattern. And you get four sheets of that. And this is the best. <laughs> this this is really why I'm so excited about this suite is because it makes you these these roses are so easy for card making look at this piece <laughs> wow right and then when I show you the coordinating dies it cuts this out perfectly okay so here we go we got four sheets of this beautiful beautiful roses okay and on the back nice pine cones Okay, so all together, 12 sheets of double-sided paper, all the papers foiled. Now let me show you the dies because this is exciting. Okay, you get if you get the dies, you know, to use with your Big Shot or whatever die-cutting machine you have, Vegabomb, Big Shot, Sidekick, whatever. Oh, no, not Sidekick because that's maybe, as long as it's six inches long, it'll work. Okay, any kind of die-cutting machine that cuts metal dies. Check this out. So you get this rose here and you put that die on it and you cut it out. Okay. Lays on there, and the result is, let me get my bucket of stuff. <laughs> the result is this. Okay, so you get a nice die cut. Okay, and I, so I cut out a bunch of those. I, I, I've only gone through one pack of this paper. And I cut out a bunch and I used them on my cards because they're so big, I can only use them on my mini pizza boxes and cards because they're, they're, they're really big. Okay, now let me show you the, or let's just, let's just count how many full ones you can get. So one, two, three, four. Okay, you can get four full roses out of each sheet. And remember, there's four of each sheet. That means 16 beautiful cards can be made just by doing that without doing any coloring, nothing else. You could do that. Now for these roses here, I cut them out in different ways. This one doesn't cut with the die. I didn't, I tried using my scan and cut, but there were just too many details and it was too hard to recognize. So I did, I just used circle punches and I made, a, I used a circle and, and, starburst punch and I was able to get a lot of elements out of that. Plus I was able to use the back to wrap Hershey nuggets and things like that. So this paper was very useful even after I cut out the four roses. All right, let's show you the, I showed you the dies. So the die set has, you'll see me use these throughout. Okay, I cut a lot of these out, these elements out in foil. I used every die for these projects. Okay, I haven't put those on magnetic sheet yet. But when you look on the die pack, it tells you there are seven. I wanna make sure they're all there because I need to put them on magnetic sheets so I don't lose them and I trace them. Okay, so now they want to show you this Christmas rose stamp set. So you get two you get two stamp sets if you purchase the stamp set. I mean, you get two. You get photopolymer set one of two. And for that, I've used the sentiments, Merry Christmas, beautiful scripted sentiment. I've used this sentiment and this one. I haven't even touched this yet. I'm going to show you 12 projects, actually 25 projects, 12 different styles, and I did not even touch this middle rose yet. But I did touch the other rose. Look at this rose. This one is a different type of stamp. So for stamp set two of two, this is the second part of this. This one's amazing. 
This one is a cling, a cling stamp, meaning a rubber stamp. And it clings onto a giant stamping block or your stamparatus. And boy, was that fun to color with stamping blends. Okay, let me show you that one without being colored. I'm just gonna show you how beautiful it is. So even if you just wanted to just shade it in or add a pop of color, or even just use the dye and cut it out, I mean, you have a beautiful rose. Okay, so I've cut these out and these are ready to color. Um, you could color them in all different things, but I was using the coordinating colors with the sweet. Okay, lastly, before I get started on the projects, I wanted to show you what is in the suite again. So we were allowed to get, so Stampin' Up! demonstrators are allowed to get two, two of these, and I didn't open this one yet, but I do need some more glitter enamel dots on some of my projects, because you know I like to work in odd numbers, but I've already gone through one whole pack of these, so glitter, gold glitter enamel dots, and this is gold shimmer ribbon, okay, gold shimmer ribbon, and it looks like this. Okay, so it coordinates with the suite, so very beautiful. And then other uh, along the way, and then also other products in the suite are, um, let's see what else is in the suite. Oh, bracelet. I'm not sure what else, but right now I do off the top of my head know there's a bracelet. And some of my team members bought the bracelet, and they really like the Stampin' Up! charms and the little rose charms on the bracelet. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to show you my, I'm going to show you my two favorites. The one, the first favorite I'm going to show you at the beginning, and the last favorite, my second favorite, I'm going to show you at the end, or my very favorite, I should say. And then in between, you'll see all the other projects. So I love making Hershey nuggets. <laughs> I just love making them. I make them for craft bears. They are such hot sellers. They are such great gifts. When I sent some people, even the Halloween nuggets and things, they were like, oh, wow, do you make those for Christmas? Well, of course, I make them for Christmas too. I make them for every holiday. And usually I put on the back like contains nuts because they are the um, Hershey nuggets when they contain almonds. But I haven't, I'm not there yet. I do need to make stickers for the back. So if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen that I do things in stages. And so I've wrapped all the nuggets. They're, they're already gold, which is great. Some of them are already copper, which, which is great, and silver. So they're already gold, silver, and copper, which makes them match really well for this, this kind of treat. I use cherry cobbler to, to create these three sentiments um, on this ones. So I stamped them in cherry cobbler on Whisper White cardstock and cherry cobbler ink, okay? And I use those little gold enamel dots you can see. And then I use what's called a sprig punch. A sprig punch is in our annual catalog. A sprig punch is great for cutting out foils. And I did, I did cut out for these projects, gold foil, rose gold foil, and copper using the sprig punch. And they make great elements. This element here, this gold one is one of the dies. Okay, so the trays are in coordinating colors, early espresso, mossy meadow, and this tray is in Poppy Parade. So everything coordinates with the suite. All right, now I'm gonna kind of continue with along these lines of treats. So I showed you my Hershey Nugget treats, and I thought this year, I, I had some candy from Halloween that I thought matched this suite really well. So I, I created the same types of things. Project number two is I created some with Reese's. I thought, wow, these Reese's are gold and they would go really well with the Christmas time is here suite. So what did I do? I used the same trays that I use, that I've been using for years. In fact, when you have design patterns that you can use over and over again, and I share them freely on my blog, thepaperchef.com, when you, when you have design patterns, and I'll probably do another video for Nuggets soon on the, with the Let It Snow suite actually. Well, you can use the same th types of concepts over and over again, making your life easy. So this is Poppy Prayed. Let me just focus that in, sorry. I've got a little light there. Early Espresso, Cherry Cobbler, Mossy Meadow. Yes, I cut all the trays with the Brothers Scan and Cut. I cut all the toppers with the Brothers Scan and Cut. And then I cut the, well, these I cut with the die. And so with these gold, this was the Sprig Punch. This is one of the die cuts. I used Whisper White. And this is one of the die cuts. Okay, all four of these are stamped in Poppy Prayed. Okay, notice the poppy parade also coordinates with the cherry cobbler, but notice the difference in those two colors. So all the birth coordinating colors with the sweet, but poppy parade is just really bright. And then this one is more of in the, more, more like really deep, a deep shade. Okay, so the same size tray will hold five nuggets or four Reese's cups. Okay, so those are, that was project number two. Let me make some room. Project number three involves this punch here that you'll see me use a lot. 
It is called Delightful Tag Topper Punch. I will have a link to all the materials, Stampin' Up! and other companies that I used to create these projects because I use whatever's in my craft room, whatever's in my craft stash. So to create these tags, I used the Delightful Tag Topper Punch. And I used, so this one's in Whisper White cardstock in the back and this one is Cherry Cobbler in the back. I used that, that rose pattern of the paper made it a quarter inch smaller than the tag and stamped them in poppy prayed. I used the sprig punch to cut out pieces of gold foil, which we also sell at Stampin' Up. We sell 12 by 12 sheets of gold foil. And then these little elements were inside, you know, just some of the ones, the die cuts I cut out, then these were extra little leftover pieces and I just used them. Okay, so you can use these as Christmas tags, bookmarks, whatever you wanna use them for. Okay, while I'm talking about the scalloped tag topper punch, you can use it to create this next project I'm going to show you, which I call my tag treats. I've, I've done a tutorial on how to make these recently. I've probably done about 10 tutorials on YouTube on how to make tag treats using all kinds of different materials. So check out my Let It Snow tag treats. I did it with the snowman. So for these I used, I took that paper, the paper I told you about, I said that you know, the die can cut out all of these roses, but I was like, what about these roses? I still wanted to be able to cut those out, and I tried with my scan and cut, and it didn't work. So there, I came up with this idea. I used this punch here, which is just a starburst punch. Hey, you can see myself. Okay, in the punch. And then th these are the starburst punch. What I did is I punched out the starburst of that rose, and then I, I used rose gold foil I had. Rose gold, only because I have a lot of it. It came in one of my other suites called... Um, something it was a, it was a product melody oh, i already forgot the name of it but anyway i had a lot of rose gold in it and i think it was called everything is rosy and so in that suite i had a lot of this rose gold foil and i was punching out the circles using two and a quarter inch circle punch okay and that's what i did for that and that's how i made these beautiful elements to go on my little tag treats and i always get asked what's inside it depends every time i put different things inside i use that that trim of course the gold trim but inside it's always different things, but in, the, in this case, I put coordinating nuggets. So in that one, because I wrapped it in the little rose band, I put the little rose nuggets. This one was cherry cobbler in the background, I put the cherry cobbler nuggets. This one, I put some, it was early espresso in the background. And by the way, I'll show you what else I did here. And then that, I put the little nuggets in there. Now what I did is I was trying to go for some like gold effect, some antiquing. So what I did to these, and you can't really see it, I might not do it to the rest of them because you can't see it too well, is I had this gold ink, and it's called the Delicata, and I think we're already, it's, on, it's already on back order or, or unavailable. Yeah, I don't think you can order it from us anymore because it's, it was so popular this year. And by the way, if you want any of the things I'm showing you, please use my links to my store. If you are a US customer in the United States, US territories, Puerto Rico, Guam, all that, St. Croix, those kind of places, or US, uh, military installations, APO addresses around the world, you can order from me, I'm a US demonstrator only. Last time I, uh, I had so many requests for catalogs from people from different countries, <laughs> and I was like, I can't send catalogs to other countries, and because our catalogs, I'm not allowed to sell to other countries. I'm only allowed to sell to the US. But, but anyway, back, to the, back on track. Um, I was trying to go for some antiquing look, okay? So I used this birch here birch background stamp i got it last week because we had a stamp sale and i bought this birch stamp and i put this texture on it and it came out like kind of nice but i just i don't think it's necessary for that but i do like how it looks on the delicata looks on on a card and i'll, sh I'll i guess i'll probably just show you that card next so you know what i'm talking about i did use this ink the same ink instead of using it as a texture i just i'm going to use it i used it on a card and that came out really nice all right, so let me make room. You know how my table gets. Things start falling off. <clears throat> Let's move these punches out of the way. Let's get my nuggets out of the way. Keeping the ink there to show you. So what I want to show you next is a card that I came up with. I'm going to make three different ones of this, but different. So I came up with this card idea using, let me just stand it up. I, I thought of using that ink, the Delicata. And here's, here's one of the cards I want to put some more of these little gold stems on so for this card i used what's called the mosaic tile embossing folder i love i love embossing the backgrounds of cards 
So first I tried inking up the this embossing folder and running the paper through, running the cardstock through, and it really didn't show up. The ink didn't show up, and now I gotta clean that gold off of my embossing folder. So then I decided to take a makeup sponge. I'm just gonna get my makeup sponge so you don't have any mystery of how I did this. And I took like a makeup sponge and I dipped it straight into the ink and I rubbed it all over this card. And I hope you can see how cool it looks with the gold tiles in the background <laughs> and the gold foil. And then I inked around the edges of the sentiment stamped in cherry cobbler. I decided to use a background color that wasn't a part of the suite. It's called soft sea foam. That color I thought matched this lighter hue that was part of the paper. In my opinion, it matches. I use soft sea foam because I really wanted that cherry cobbler to stick out. Here are some cards in the making. These have been embossed in Early Espresso Mossy Meadow. I will be inking those like with my gold and I'm just gonna show you how I did that. I'm gonna be dipping straight into my gold and inking this. Okay, I'm rubbing ink all around and light, as you can see how it gets shiny. And of course, I only need to do it to the part that's not going to be covered with the rose. Okay, so I'll probably just ink all around the outer parts of these, but not the part where the rose is going to be covering it because I don't need to waste the ink behind there because the rose is going to hide that part. Okay, so anyway, gold ink, that was a card. I will show you one more card while we're at it, and then I'm going to move on to some more 3D projects. Okay, so here's another card I created using that same technique. This time I stamped the sentiment from our stamp set in Poppy Parade. I used a piece of ribbon, the gold ribbon, I used a piece of gold foil in the background. I used a few of those enamel dots, mossy meadow, uh, cherry cobbler, and another little element of cherry cobbler back there, and a little element of cherry cobbler cardstock. Okay, so these cards, I'm gonna call my five minute cards. These cards will take you, well, this one would take about five minutes to make. This one takes about 10 minutes to make because you have to emboss the uh, background. But if you emboss a bunch of backgrounds at once, it doesn't take as much time. On the last card that I'm gonna show you in this video. That one took me a lot longer because I hand colored the rose. All right, so next are my mini coffee cups. And to, for the top of the mini coffee cups, I used a sentiment from another stamp set. And I'm, let, let me see, I even have one in a stand here. Let's put this here. I even have one that's in a stand. Move that closer. Let me see if I can zoom out. Okay, so the other stamp set I used for this one it was called, I, I think it's called Cup of Cheer or something like that. But anyway, I, have, I don't have them all sitting right here. But there is a stamp set that we sell and it has to do with coffee. And the stamp set is where I got these little Merry Christmas from. And I'll have a link in the description. Here it is, Cup of Christmas. It's called Cup of Christmas. I've been using this a lot. If you watch my tutorial on how to make doggy treats for craft fairs, you saw that I used the Merry Christmas also on the doggy treats. Okay, Cup of Christmas. Anyway, that's, I wanted them, I wanted the sentiments to fit on the coffee cups. Okay, so coffee cups are really easy to make. You buy the coffee cups, which I'll have a link to, and then you get the die. I get this dies from Stamp Doctor, which I'll have a link to. And then inside the coffee cups, you can put all kinds of things. I, in particular, wrapped uh, these little Hershey miniatures. These are Hershey miniatures, and then these are Hershey nuggets. And I'd probably put a little note inside, depending on who I'm giving it to, saying it contains nuts, because again, these contain almonds and peanuts and different things. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's inside the other ones. So this one is, oh, this, this one, when you get the coffee cup dies, they wrapper dies, they also come with bands, so you can put bands around the side of your coffee cup. And this one's a Hershey Nugget. I used the stitched, the stitched dies I had, some stitched shapes to put a little cover on there. But the inside of this coffee holder die, which I also got from Stamp Doctor, I've been using it for many years, or I've been using, actually I've been using these for more years, the coffee cup wraps. But after a couple years of making my own coffee stands, I, I said, I'm gonna break down and get this die to make the coffee, to make the coffee stand in there. And this little circle will also cover, it serves this hole that you cut out will also cover your little inside of the mini coffee cup. All right. The Angel, by the way, is from another Most Wonderful Time suite. The Angel is not from this suite. It's from Most Wonderful Time, cut out in gold. Okay, so put that in there and I'll show you what's inside it. Um, just a couple more things about it is this is when I used that copper foil. Okay, I used the copper foil and the gold foil and Mossy Meadow and I just stamped in Cherry Cobbler. There's rose gold and gold on the top. And then this one is a little, another project inside there. Another die from Stamp Doctor, and it's called, it's called a little mini 
treat die. I'll, I'll have links to everything I used. And then I put another. So these are Starbucks. If you go to craft fairs, always use like good brands like Starbucks and things when you put your little projects together because people will ask you, what kind of coffee are you have? What kind of this? What kind of that? All right, so back to these dies. I don't, I don't have room to put everything on my table right now, but this little angel and this little star are from Most Wonderful Time, which is another product medley, and I really hope I'll have a chance to show you that product medley soon. But I am doing craft fair prep, so it's hard to also, it's, it's hard to craft and teach at the same time, but I do love to share with my crafty friends before my things disappear. Okay, let's show you these. These are called Mini Kirby Keepsake Die. Okay, I have this one here to show you. I've been using this a lot this season, and I'm gonna be using it for many more things. Like I make these little boxes into snowmen and other things. All right, let's show you what's inside one of them. Let me just open one. I think it's, no, I know what's inside, Reese's. I don't need to open them. I put two Reese's, pe Reese's peanut butter cups inside them. And I don't, I don't wanna open them because they are they already tied together with this old olive twine. I thought that matched and that gold little trim I put on top. So I just put two Reese's inside them. But yeah, if you've watched my other videos, you could see the things I've put inside these Kirby keepsake boxes. What I really like about them is, besides like, I love the old kind of Kirby keepsake stampin' up cell, but I really like this one because it's one piece. Everything cuts out and scores in one piece. You can, you can run this through with a few pieces of designer series paper at once. I know for sure I cut two pieces of this style at once. I've cut other styles of designer series paper three at once. This little die, this stitch die for the tags, and I use the most wonderful time. I just run that through, and that's just one of the 10 dies that come in this mini Kirby keepsake set. All right, so moving on, more stamping up products. We make these really cool uh, gold pizza boxes. So if you do want a holiday catalog and you want, some, you want to see what some of these things look like, I'll send you a PDF and then I can send you one in the snail mail. Again, US only. I love that the rest of you email me and I'll put you on my mailing list, but I cannot send catalogs outside our country. Okay, I'm not allowed to sell outside our country. <laughs> That's just the way Stampin' Up! is regulated. There are Stampin' Up! demonstrators in other countries and I can put you in touch with people from other countries if you're from another country. I'll put you in touch with my crafty friends that are demonstrators in other countries. Okay, we sell in our holiday catalog these gold mini pizza boxes. They are so easy to put together. They, they are food safe. They are glossy on the inside. They fold. They are just amazing, okay? I'm not gonna put this one together. I just wanna show you that. I was just trying to show you what the one looks like. So right away when I saw the gold flowers, I thought, wow, that would look good on a pizza box. This one I'm putting a piece of cherry cobbler on, but the first one I tried, I didn't even put cherry cobbler on, and I think it still came out good. So let me show you my gold mini pizza box project. And I don't even know what number I'm up to, but let's, let's see. I think I have three after this. One, two. Yeah, one, two, three. I have three more projects to show you after this. Okay, so we are on project number nine. That makes this project number nine. All right, gold mini pizza box. I'm going to open it up. I put a piece of gold ribbon around it. Okay, all I did, literally, this is it. This is like your, your five-minute project. Okay, so you, you just put the really beautiful rose on top, and then... I cut out all the pieces with the scan and cut, of course. Of course I did. I did that all ahead of time. The pieces to line the inside of the pizza box with and the pieces to line and the Hershey Nugget wrappers and the pieces to line inside here, cut all out. So I had a bunch of those pieces cut out. These are die cut pieces. This mossy meadow in the background, stamped with the sentiment from the set in Cherry Cobbler. And then I just adhered, I did, I did do a little bit of adhering, the Hershey Nuggets to the inside of the pizza box. Okay, so let me reach over here because actually in the middle of, I have two scan and cuts and they always are working like, <laughs> working hard this time of year. So this is what a piece would look like I cut out the scan and cut and it's a beautiful, perfect square. And then when I set up the box, you know, I just, when I put together that really easy box to put together, cause it's already foiled and it's already made. And it's this, this piece even clicks in. You have to kind of just push that. It kind of clicks in, so you could use a little bit of adhesive. There you go. And there you go. You put the little liners inside. Boom. You have a coordinating box. I do this with all kinds of things. We also make white mini pizza boxes. Okay, so I will be making more of these. These are good craft fair uh, sellers as well. All right. I said I had three more projects. So the next project is 
a little nail file box. I usually make a lot of these. I just don't have to just get more nail files and I, and I don't have a lot of nail files that match this particular suite, but I will be making a lot of nail file boxes in different styles this season. Super easy to make, starting out with a piece of designer series paper. I just did a little wrap with that little element that I cut out, same element as this, that element I cut out in the designer series paper. The angels are again from another suite. These little embossed angels are from Most Wonderful Time and this Merry Christmas is from The Cup of Christmas. But the paper itself and this ribbon and this little embellishment wrap are from Christmas Time is Here Suite. And of course the boxes I make are double-sided so you can see inside. And this is a shorter box. I should have made it longer for this particular nail file, but this one just happened to match. I do have shorter nail files too. Okay, in my opinion, in those of you in the US, the best place to get nail files in bulk, emery boards, salon boards, whatever you want to call them, is at Big Lots. That's where I get a lot of those in bulk. Okay, next project, I'm going to show you my tea holders. Okay, so these are tea holders and they're also good for Ghirardelli chocolates, which I didn't have any right now of, and they're also good for some chocolates that were sent to me from Germany. Okay, so first I'll just show you the tea. It's the same size whether you put a chocolate inside or tea. Stamped all three of the sentiments using cherry cobbler onto Whisper White cardstock. The season's greeting sentiment is from last month's Paper Pumpkin. It's from October's Paper Pumpkin Kit. That's where that sentiment came from. But look how well that matches that, that script. I thought it matched really nice. Okay, so I just put a tea bag inside. Usually I put a sentiment in there, but I don't need to. These are just great stocking stuffers. Put some tea in there for someone. And then this one is a German chocolate. I just thought they matched well. The Ghirardelli, when I, once I get the Christmas Ghirardellis coming out, they will probably match well as well. Like they'll probably match the colors. Like see how this cherry cobbler color matches that. And this matches as well. So that's why I just thought these were good chocolates to use. And don't ask me what they say. I'm not even sure what kind of chocolates are in there. But Ritter Sport is a good brand. All right, now I tied a little, I used a mini stapler to just, I used colorful staples that I have. And then I used this little twine, again, Old Olive. Old Olive's not one of the coordinating colors, but I think it matched Mossy Meadow really well. So I used that. All right, now for my favorite project of all <laughs> is my card. And, the, and this, this card only took me about 15 minutes to make, but I did use the Stampin' Blends, okay? So what I did for that is I took, I just kind of have to show you the before and after. Here's before. Before is just me taking the stamp set and using Whisper White cardstock with Memento Black ink. Memento Black ink is good when you're stamping because it doesn't make the blends run. Then I used a variety of stamping blends, a variety of colors like Cherry Cobbler, Poppy Parade, and Mossy Meadow, and Crumb Cake, and Crumb Cake. And then I, I didn't have I didn't have any blends in Early Espresso, but I had a marker in Early Espresso, so I used the Early Espresso a little bit as well. So these are the colors I used. I didn't even need, end up needing them all. These are the colors I took out to use, and I probably used all but two. Okay, but I used I blended the rose. Okay, so I blended it with, with the alcohol blends markers, and that is my favorite card because I was like, wow, like I can do that. I feel like an artist. You know, so I was like very happy with the way this came out. And that is my very first attempt at coloring the Christmas rose. These little elements are from this little sprig here on the side. That's that sprig punch. Again, using copper foil. Then I use some gold foil for this. Gold foil, copper foil. A lot of those little gold stones. Uh, let's see, cherry cobbler. This is from Cup of Christmas. There's some gold foiling. And this is rose gold foil from that other, everything is rosy medley. So just use all the things you have and you can make beautiful elements for your cards. This is Early Espresso and that's a cherry cobbler background. I hope you enjoyed all my projects that I showed you. I hope that if you're in the U.S. and you'd like to get your hands on this limited time exclusive suite that you'll order it from me. And then I will be your demonstrator. That's what I'll be, your demonstrator. So thank you for watching. This is The Papered Chef.